Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at how to start a macro based on a calendar event. So we can start our pre-service countdown slash announcement loop if you have that in here. And then that can be triggered on a specific time of day. So to do that, uh, let's go ahead and clear that for now. We want to go up here to view and then down to calendar. And then inside of this, you'll click the little plus on the bottom left, and then you can rename this. So if we could, we'll just call it pre-service. Pre and then down here where it says schedule, we'll tell it to repeat on a Sunday. So it happens every Sunday, and then we'll put in our service time. So we'll go ahead and do 9.55, and then we'll change this to a.m. and not p.m. And then you can tell it to do multiple days if you have, if the event happens at the same time, or you can do a different event for each time of the week. And then once you're down here, you'll go into action, and then you'll you can either have it do a playlist action or a macro action. So we're going to have it do a macro action, which would be our start timer, which is this little timer here. And then as soon as I turn this on here, you can see it added a little event here because that tells you that it's triggered off of a calendar event. And then when you, if you want to hit test, you can test it, make sure it works. And then you can see it does work. Now that you have that set up, you can go ahead and exit out of this. If you want to, you can click this little button here and it'll show you all of the different service times. So if you wanted to, you know, have it stop at a certain time, like if you were to miss, so like if you were to cancel a service or you weren't going to need this event on that specific day, you can cancel that specific occurrence or all occurrences if you wanted it to cancel forever. Or you can just keep this un unchecked and then you'll basically compress it all to make it a little easier to read if you have multiple events happening. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and exit out of that and then wait for your time to start. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time.